Hello everyone. So super excited to get started. The deal that we had going that we were crossing our fingers on that it was going to go through completely and we were going to be on our way to start the barn and everything else that we have planned for the Ponderosa is done. It went through. So excited. Uh, huge relief for my husband because he was putting a lot of work into it and it's very nerve-wracking when you're working really really hard for something and you just don't know if it's going to go through or not and it did so we're super excited um the thing that was the deal that was going through is we had a house and um, it's actually our old house that we lived in before we moved here and it got sold and we didn't get what we wanted for it um, but we are satisfied <laughs> with what we got and we are just so glad that we got it and that it's over and it's done and we're not going to be bleeding any more money to keep a house that we're not living in um, we were still have we you know we still had the electric bill and the water and cutting the grass and making sure that everything inside the house was well and we completely remodeled the house down to the actual subfloor of the house. Um, we pulled up the old subfloor and put down new subfloor and then we redid the whole entire thing with bamboo and then we redid the walls. The kitchen was completely gutted and it was a brand new kitchen and all the paint was new. It took a year and a half of just us doing it and um, doing everything that we had to do to get it ready to be put on the market. And then we finally did and it sold within about two weeks of being on the market. And uh, yeah, that's it. Anything I'd say from now would be rambling, but uh, that is how we are going to be able to build this barn. And I'm so excited. I'm going to blast a picture up for you guys right now so you can see what that's going to look like. Okay, so that is the GIF of what I want the barn to look like, but of course it's not gonna be that color, but I'm hoping for that style. Uh, I believe <laughs> I'm going to go with the traditional red and white barn. So it'll be the red tin with the white trim and the white roof. I'm not really sure if I'm going to have the, um, I literally just blanked on what it's called. But anyway, the little thing that goes in, on top, it's like the weather vane. They're super expensive. And I mean like super expensive. They're like $2,600 just so you can have that on the top of the barn. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna go and have that put on because I'd rather put $2,600 somewhere else. But um, that is what I'm hoping my barn is going to look like in a different color. Um, I'm going to have the center aisle just for hay and then right here I put the feed buckets I want to have the lean-to for the horses and I'm going to put in gates so that it can be open but when I want to close them and make temporary stalls out of them I can close the gates so that I can feed the horses in individual areas um, trim hooves have their teeth done if I need a vet to come out and look at them there's a place where the vet and the equine dentist does not have to worry about being pushed around by another horse or goat um, tag is gonna have his own little platform I'm super excited about that because for the longest time tag has not had an area where I could just put him and not worry about him getting loose or feeling uncomfortable. So I want it to be a nice little area where Tag can lay down and eat his hay. In case you don't know, Tag is my goat. Um, and eat his hay and just enjoy where he's at until I'm done working with the horses. Because I'm not speaking for all goats, but Tag is very, very jealous. 
and I can spend five hours with Tag and go to the horse for two seconds and he's already there trying to get me away from the horse and if he can't get me away then he starts picking on the horses to try to get the horses agitated so I am just really looking forward to having a dedicated little spot for Tag where he can be happy and comfortable and have his own space and then on the other side of the barn I'm going to have an actual stall for just in case something happens and I need one um, in the winter it'll be nice to be able to put them in an actual stall to trim their hooves um, out of the weather and the wind and everything else then I'm going to have um, my 12 by 12 stack tack room where I can put their grain and their halters and you guys all know that stuff and then the remainder I'm hoping for 18 feet so it'd be an 18 by 12 oh, an 18 by 12 foot area for the cats I want them to have enough space in an enclosed area so that when we go out of town or go on vacation we can put the cats in there knowing that they're not going to wander off looking for us when we're not here for a while and they will be comfortable and have food and water and litter boxes and nice places to sleep so that's the plan super excited um, we have already called the um, Amish to come out and tell us what we need to do to get the barn going. So we're waiting on them to um, get back with us to let us know when they can come out and give us an estimate and um, what we need to do as far as this area to prep it. Um, dirt work starts in about a week and a half. We've already called the dirt work guy and he's coming out. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's also a horse person, so he is very um, knowledgeable in what needs to be done so that you have a barn that is not soaked up with water and it's going to be easy for the horses and me and I'm not going to have a problem with drainage. That's awesome. He's going to bury the pit, so I'm not going to have to worry about the pit anymore. Things are moving along. Super excited. Um, is there anything else? I think that's it. So we're waiting on the Amish now to come out and give us an estimate and about a week and a half the dirt work will start. So I will um, do my very, very, very best to film it as it goes and I'm so excited to be sharing this with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you again next time.